Welcome to the video where we help you navigate the financial landscape of 2024. Our first pitfall to avoid, bad debt. Now what exactly is bad debt? Picture this. You're on a journey towards financial freedom, but there's a heavy backpack pulling you down, slowing your progress. That's bad debt. It's high interest, non-deductible debt that does not contribute to your financial growth. It's like a leak in your wealth building ship constantly draining your resources and making your journey to financial freedom much harder. Examples of bad debt are everywhere. Credit card debt is a classic one. It's easy to swipe that plastic but the high interest rates can quickly turn a small purchase into a long-term financial burden. Then there are payday loans, another prime example. They might seem like a quick fix to a temporary problem but the sky-high interest rates can trap you in a cycle of debt that's hard to escape. And let's not forget car loans. Yes, we all need transportation, but buying a car that's beyond your means and financing it with a high interest loan, that's bad debt. The impact of bad debt on your personal wealth can be devastating. It's like trying to fill a bucket with a hole in the bottom. No matter how much you pour in, you're never going to get ahead. Bad debt hinders your financial progress, eats into your savings, and limits your opportunities. It's the enemy of wealth building. But the good news is, bad debt is avoidable. It's about making smart decisions, living within your means, and prioritizing your financial health. It's about understanding the difference between wants and needs, between good debt and bad. So, if you're serious about building wealth in 2024, it's time to take a hard look at your finances. Identify any bad debt, make a plan to pay it off, and commit to avoiding it in the future. So the first step to building wealth in 2024, say no to bad debt. Moving on to our second wealth destroyer, lifestyle inflation. Lifestyle inflation is a tricky little monster that often creeps up on us without warning. It's the phenomenon that occurs when your spending increases as your income goes up. You get a promotion, a raise, or land a better paying job, and suddenly, you find yourself upgrading your lifestyle to match. A fancier car, a bigger house, more expensive dinners out, designer clothes, the list goes on. But here's the catch. As your spending increases, you could find yourself living paycheck to paycheck, despite earning more than you ever did before. Your increased income is going towards funding a more lavish lifestyle, rather than growing your wealth. This cycle can be dangerous, leaving you with little to no savings and making you vulnerable to financial emergencies. It's like running on a treadmill. You're moving, but not getting anywhere. But don't worry, there are steps you can take to avoid falling into this trap. First, be conscious of your spending. It's easy to justify that swanky new watch or those high-end home appliances when you're earning more. But ask yourself, do you really need them or can you live comfortably without them? Second, invest your surplus income. Instead of spending that extra cash, put it to work. Invest in stocks, bonds, real estate, or any other asset that appreciates over time. This way your money grows, providing you with a safety net and a comfortable future. Third, build an emergency fund. Life is unpredictable, and having a safety net can save you from financial stress when unexpected expenses arise. Aim for at least three to six months worth of living expenses. So, the next time you get a raise or a bonus, think twice before upgrading your lifestyle. Instead, use that extra income to secure your financial future. Remember, more money doesn't mean more spending. Keep lifestyle inflation in check. Next up on our list of wealth pitfalls to avoid in 2024, not investing. Now, let's talk about a wealth-building strategy that, surprisingly, many people overlook. Investing. Why is investing important, you ask? Well, investing is the most effective way to grow your money and build wealth over time. It's like planting a seed and watching it grow into a tree. The seed is your initial investment and the tree? That's the wealth you create. One of the magical aspects of investing is the power of compounding. Compounding is when the returns you earn on your investment start earning returns themselves. It's like a snowball rolling down a hill, getting bigger and bigger. It's a powerful tool that can turn a small amount of money into a significant sum over time. Albert Einstein himself called compounding the eighth wonder of the world. But what about the types of investments? There are many, from stocks and bonds to real estate and mutual funds. Each has its own potential for returns, and each carries its own risks. The key is to diversify, spreading your investments across different types, so that if one does poorly, the others can balance it out. Now, you might be thinking, investing sounds complicated, but it doesn't have to be. There are easy ways to start investing even if you're a beginner. For instance, robo-advisors are automated investment platforms that do the heavy lifting for you. 
They create a diversified portfolio based on your financial goals and risk tolerance. Or, you could invest in index funds, which are designed to track the performance of a specific market index. They're a simple, low-cost way to get broad market exposure. Remember, the earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to grow. Even if you can only spare a small amount each month, that money can grow significantly over the long term. To build wealth you need your money to work for you. Start investing today. Our fourth wealth destroyer to avoid neglecting retirement savings. Think of retirement savings like a marathon, not a sprint. It's a long-term commitment that requires consistency, discipline, and an early start. The earlier you start, the easier it becomes to reach the finish line. Let's imagine two runners, Jack and Jill. Jack starts his marathon early, moving at a steady pace. Jill, on the other hand, decides to start late. She has to run faster and exert more effort just to catch up with Jack. The same principle applies to retirement savings. Starting early means you can contribute less, yet still accumulate more over time, thanks to the magic of compound interest. On the flip side, starting late means you'll have to contribute significantly more to catch up. This could strain your finances, especially when you're juggling other financial responsibilities such as mortgage payments or children's education. Now how can you start your savings marathon? There are several avenues to explore. If your employer offers a retirement plan such as a 401k or a 403b, that's a great place to start. These plans often come with employer matching which is essentially free money towards your retirement. If you're self-employed or your employer doesn't offer a retirement plan, consider an individual retirement account or IRA. There are two types, a traditional IRA where your contributions may be tax deductible and a Roth IRA where your withdrawals in retirement are tax-free. Remember the goal is not just to save but to save consistently. Even if it's a small amount, regular contributions can grow significantly over time. It's not about how much you save, but how long you save. So don't be like Jill, huffing and puffing trying to catch up. Be like Jack, steady and consistent, cruising towards the finish line. Don't delay your retirement savings, start now for a comfortable future. Last on our list of wealth pitfalls to avoid in 2024, lack of financial education. In the world of finance, ignorance is not bliss. It's a perilous trap that can lead to costly mistakes and missed opportunities. Imagine trying to navigate a ship through stormy seas without a compass. That's what managing your finances without proper education feels like. You're at the mercy of the elements with no clear direction or understanding of how to reach your destination. Financial education is the compass you need. It helps you understand the basics of money management, the importance of saving, how to invest wisely, and how to plan for your retirement. It empowers you to make informed decisions about your money so you can avoid common pitfalls and grow your wealth. Unfortunately, many people neglect financial education. They believe it's too complex or they simply don't know where to start. But in this digital age there is no shortage of resources. Online courses, financial blogs, podcasts, and even YouTube channels like this one offer a wealth of information. And the best part? Many of these resources are completely free. For example, you can take online courses from reputable institutions that teach financial basics. Blogs and podcasts can offer insights into more specific topics like investing in stocks or real estate. And of course, YouTube channels provide a visual and interactive way to learn. But remember, financial education is not a one-time event, it's a lifelong journey. The financial landscape is always changing and so should your knowledge. Dedicate some time each week to learning something new about finance. It could be a new investment strategy, a tax-saving tip, or the latest market trends. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to finance. Invest in your financial education today. It's the best investment you can make for your future, and it's the surest way to avoid the peril of financial ignorance. Remember, the journey to financial success begins with a single step, education. So take that step today and set a course for financial success in 2024.